We're kicking things off in the Virginia This Morning kitchen with a dessert recipe that many people love but a lot of us are afraid to tackle, not sure. Oh, she does this all the time. Uh, yeah, we're talking about cheesecake, one of my specialties. I love making cheesecake, and it's all in learning how to do it. So that's what we're going to learn today from Chef Chris Brown. Today, his recipe features sweet potatoes. Good morning, Chef. Good morning, how are you? Good, good to see you. you got a lot of things going yes. here. Uh, let's talk about making cheesecakes. The first thing is the pan. Yes, definitely. You want to use a spring form pan because it's easier to get out the cheesecake mm -hmm. when you're done with it. So, so it's a two piece pan. Two piece pan. But you can, um, now, uh, uh, Cheryl knows all about this. I'm noticing the bottom on uh -huh. it. Can we show the bottom of this? Is that significant, the way it's kind of uh, got Dimple. divots in it? Yeah, yeah, it helps you when you, after you slice the cheesecake, take it out easily. Okay. Yep. Yep. There's a, there's a good mm -hmm. shot of that. Yeah. yeah. And we got some things going, heating up in the microwave. We've got some water boiling here. We've got a lot of things going. Right and, and that's the, the main thing with any recipe is making sure everything is in place. Yep. And I've learned with cheesecakes is the main thing is have all your ingredients at room temperature. That's correct. You want to have your cheesecake, your, your, um, your cream cheese at room temperature. And that just helps mix it easier. And it, it uh, avoids the lumps that, that would create uh, if you if you um, just, you know, have a cold um, cheesecake. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get things, uh, not cooking, but Started. whipping, I yeah, guess. Right. Yeah. So you put you the cream cheese You want to start with the cream in? cheese? Yeah. yeah. All mix. right. More cream cheese. <laughs> so you want to just mix that till it's fluffy. Put the lock on there. Then turn up a little high and get it going. So we... How many patties of cream cheese was that? What was that? So it's about 12 ounces. 12 ounces yep. of cream cheese. cream cheese. So a bar and a half. Yep, a, a bar and a half. A bar and a half. And then we get the snack on the rest while <laughs> this is working. And that really is working that up. So what would be the second ingredient once it actually gets to where you want it? All right, after that, you would like to add the sugar. Let's turn it off for a second. We can add sugar to that. And how much sugar? Um. I'm not quite sure. Not much. I, yeah. <laughs> He's about a, it's now about a is cup. that granulated or confectioners? I couldn't That's tell. That's granulated. Because it, it had a lot of <laughs> powder, yeah, powder yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> now the main ingredient in this is the sweet potato. The so sweet how potato. did you prep those? Because sometimes I would take that, you know, some yams out of a can, but you did not do no, that. No, no, you want to use fresh uh, sweet potatoes. You know, the fresher the better. Um, just has a better taste to it, mm -hmm. so. And gives it that roasted flavor because yeah, you're gonna yeah. roast these, right? Now, have you already cooked the them. sweet potatoes? I have, I have. I've okay. cooked it and I've mashed it, and it's uh, ready to go. So, I'm gonna add the eggs right now. It's not this. a ridiculous question. Nope, Everybody that's a knew good that. Question. Okay, no, that's <laughs> fine. I don't, I know nothing about what we're doing here. All right. Now I noticed you added both of your eggs at the same time. A lot yeah. of times they ask you to do, do it one, one at a time. time. Uh, you know, just based on preferences. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to scrape down the sides of this pan right now. Get it on this. Yeah, get everything in there because it's kind of stuck to the sides a little bit. Yeah. Why is it, Chef, that, that so many people are afraid to tackle a cheesecake? Um, I just, I guess, a little complicated with the ingredients and making sure everything's at room temperature and um, just the order of putting them together. It takes a little long, but. I have a shorter answer. Cause Cheryl will do it for us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and they're I will. good too. <laughs> yeah. All right, so after that's all blended, you want to add your um, sweet potato mix to that. You and that looks to be off. about what, a cup? Yes. There we go. And you did you puree that sweet potato? Well, I just mashed it with a fork. It? Okay. Yep, until it's tender and uh, well, you gotta get it tender first and then Kind of lump-free. Um, lump-free, there you go. <laughs> Nobody wants lumpy cheesecake. Well, no. some people like texture, so, I mean, they'll leave a little lumps in there now and then. Just depends on your I don't know preference. that I've ever had sweet potato cheesecake. Have I been missing this? Have you made that for everybody else and not me yet? Um, I made one a long time ago. <laughs> so you probably had some. Okay. Back in the day, as they say. <laughs> All right. And what kind of crust are you going to be using in this? I know because a we're crust can really set off um, a cheesecake. Yep. Well, we're going to use a graham cracker crust. Mm -hmm. um, you can use um, um, sugar snaps if you like. Mm -hmm. Just add different texture and different taste to it. But so like a gingerbread. Use... Yeah. 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 Well, that would be good. It would be, yeah. Yep. I'm going to grab that bowl right there. Mm -hmm.
I uh, see one ingredient that hasn't gone in yet. Oh, that's going in the bowl. Yes. That's your graham cracker crust. Yep, you Probably add the butter the to it. Butter. And that's going to go in the pan. That's going to go in the pan. Did we make sure we close the pan back up? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so you want to mix that, you know, you want to use your hands, you. but you can use, yep. And then you want to spray this pan before you uh, put the crust in there. I'll spray this over here. So you get a little, what, a little pam or something in yeah, there? Yeah, just a little pam. Yeah. Get around the sides. Make sure it doesn't stick. Now, are you so. going to do this on the bottom or on the bottom and the sides? Just the bottom. Okay. Yep. Then you want to just press it firmly to the bottom. Make sure it's even. Now, do you make... Can you make a cheesecake with no crust? Yes, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But what's the point? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you can have graham cracker that's crust. Right. Yeah, there you go. All right. So after that's all even at the bottom, spread out. Now, some people um, like to bake the, the crust off for maybe 10 minutes or so, so it's nice and firm. Uh, this recipe doesn't call for it to be baked. You can just pour the mixture right into there. Does that make it a little uh, more crunchy if you bake it a little bit? Yes. Yeah, okay. And that's going to go in, but let's talk about the baking process a little bit. You've uh -huh. got the, the oven preheated to what, to, to cook 350. this? 350. Now, a lot of people cook it in a water bath or what they call a bain-marie. Yep. You don't do it like that. No, not, not this particular one, no. Okay. Not at all. All right, and, and, and then you want to cook it until it looks like it's not quite done, right? Yeah, that's it, yep. It's got to be jiggly in the middle. Yes. <laughs> What's our hot water for over here? Well, that's for the cranberry compote that we're going to make next. Okay. And um, we can just well, this water. And boom, if you could just yeah. tell us quickly how to do that, because we're running out of time. Right. So that's just some fresh cranberries. Some, yes, you want to add um, sugar to it. Add the sugar. You add the cranberries. Get it up to a boil. And then you want to add some um, nutmeg, cinnamon mm. to that mixture, and also some allspice. So you want to bring that to a boil. When it comes to a boil... Each one of these ingredients will be fine by themselves. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then you're, you're going to combine them all together. Yeah, so you want to bring that to a boil until it, um, the cranberry is nice and soft. And then that's going to go into the pan, and that's going to bake for how long? About 35 to 45 minutes. Okay. Well, just in time for Elvis. And then, <laughs> but then the hard part is you have to let it cool and then you have to put it in the refrigerator. Oh, sorry, Elvis. Yep. <laughs> I'll be around later today. He won't. Okay, good. Right. That's a beautiful batter. I love the color on yeah. that. That looks fantastic. And we cool. have the Here's finished the product, finished product over there. there. It looks absolutely beautiful. I'm going to take a little slice out of Are this, you really? chef, if that's okay. Just yeah. Uh, yeah, take two little slices yeah. out there. Yeah. See how that works. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we always do a big slice on a cheesecake. Yeah. And we'll, of course, have this recipe for you online at WTBR.com slash VTM by later this afternoon. Billy, you want to try that? Oh, uh, yeah. Put your hands yeah. on the, yeah. on the, the <laughs> sharp knife oh, there. okay. That's okay. <laughs> that cut perfectly, chef. You did a great job. Oh, thank you. All right, thank okay. you so much. Again, the recipe online, you're going to want to make this sweet potato cheesecake. Oh, I love it. <laughs>